So coming to what is effusion? Fluid effusion is the fluid which is accumulating in the potential space between visceral and parietal fluid. When there is imbalance between formation and absorption, various disease states, or in response to injury, inflammation of both locally and system, systematically. So it is nothing but the collection. Already we have fluid in the pleural space. It is constantly formed and constantly absorbed. But if there is an imbalance between formation and absorption, then we consider it to be a fluid occlusion. It, since there is a collection, what are different causes? It can be increased fluid formation, which is because of the increase in the interstitial fluid in the lung, like left ventricular failure, if there is pneumonia, there is pulmonary embolism, or increased intravascular pressure in pleura, like right ventricular failure, left ventricular failure, superior vena cava obstruction. Then there is increased permeability of capillaries, pleural inflammation, or there is increased in level of VGEF. Similarly, we have increased pleural uh, fluid protein levels and we have decreased pleural pressure like lung atelectasis or elastic recoil of the lung. And then increased pleural, uh, fluid in the peritoneal cavity like ascites, it also seeps up to the diaphragmatic uh, surface. Then there is disruption of thoracic duct and disruption of blood vessel and thorax. Or it can be because of the decreased fluid absorption like obstruction of lymphatics in the parietal pleura. Elevation of systemic vascular pressure like superior vena cava syndrome or right ventricular failure or disruption of these are grossly the causes of fluid effusion in which there is either increased formation or decrease in fluid absorption. Coming to what are the different types of effusion we have now, we saw that it is because of increase in the production or there is a decrease in the absorption. So, actually, we have to uh, differentiate the type of effusion because we have to treat it accordingly. So there are two types of effusion that is transudative and exudative. Transudative is the fluid which is which develops due to the systemic factor. It can be because of increased formation or reduced absorption. And this originates in the lung pleura or the peritoneal cavity. The permeability of capillaries to protein is normal and the area where the fluid is. It can be due to congestive heart failure, cirrhosis of liver, nephrotic syndrome, peritoneal dialysis, superior vena cava obstruction, myxedema, then also urinothorax. Coming to exudative, this happens only when the pleural surface or the capillaries in the location where fluid is originating is altered. So if there is capillary permeability is increased or there is disruption in the uh, capillary uh, capillaries or the pleural surface, it will cause an exudative. Causes can be ranging from neoplastic disease like metastatic disease as in our patient or mesothelioma or infectious disease such as bacterial infection. Tuberculosis is one of the commonest cause what we have, what we see in, the, in our country. Since we are in a tubercular endemic country, most often we find tuberculosis and hence I was telling in, in start only that seeing an X-ray with suffusion, AKT is started inevitably. Then we have fungal infections, viral infections, and certain parasitic infection as well. We have pulmonary embolism, then we have GI diseases like esophageal perforation, pancreatic disease, intraabdominal abscesses, diaphragmatic hernias, abdominal surgery can also cause effusions, then endoscopic parasitic sclerotherapy. And after liver transplant, any thoracic, uh, thoracic procedure or abdominal procedure can result in the effusion. Then we have collagen vascular disease like rheumatoid pleuritis, systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, that Chogren. Then we have uh, vaginal glomatosis, also Shuck's Ross syndrome, also presents with effusion. Then we have post coronary artery bypass surgery, asbestos exposure, asbestos syndrome, we are all aware about. Then we have uremia mix syndrome that happens in women with, which having the, uh, it's a ovarian uh, neoplasm. Then we have yellow nail syndrome. Then other causes like trapped lung, these are rare ones. Radiation therapy, chemothorax, iatrogenic injury, ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, then pericardial disease and chymothorax. These are various causes of the exudative effusion. Last but not the least, it is drug induced. Now, once you have ruled out that all these 
perfusions are not there, you have to consider that what drugs are patient on. So we had a patient who was actually on uh, dasatinib and this patient developed effusion. So you have to rule out whether it is drug-induced or uh, so you have to consider the drug history properly also.